Natalie exposed. Whenever she had her phone, she would never let me look at it. You had freaking side guys. I didn't have side guys, first of all. You but had I just friends. had it. I just had <laughs> Okay, but you were still on the, 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 what and was we it, were... the free trial? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to our podcast. The Jattle T podcast. And hold up, let me just say a few things. So I was getting absolutely destroyed in my DMs because everyone was like, everyone always calls her podcast with T, which I don't think so. Well, I think ours has like a, a little bit behind it because it's, our original couple's channel name is Jattle Lee. And then T would like rhyme with that. You get me? Yeah, so. I think it's freaking the best. Someone, remember the comment? There, Someone was like, wow, that's a creative name. And I was like, damn. No, that's thank not what you. I'm talking about. I'm talking about someone was like, um, you guys should call it the Jattle Lee Joint. That would have been Dope. That's what we should call our house, though, because the Jadley Joint. Think of that. Yeah, I like it. But yeah. anyways, we created coffee, and by we... I mean I. No, I made my own coffee. But we did coffee. These are little cups that my trainer had given me. And we are making it with my new machine because it is so good. Like, if you do not have a Breville machine yet, babe, you are, like, spending too much money at Starbucks. I know you are. So I have officially 75%... No. 25% retired from Starbucks, <laughs> and I am going to be making these at home. <laughs> Bro, why don't you invest in, like, a Starbucks stock or something? Mm. Like, your month's worth of Starbucks into a stock, and you'll be rich. Because I'm not responsible? Bruh. <clears throat> Anyways, so it's our first podcast, and you guys should have seen the trouble we went through to even get to this point. Like, we have been trying to film this podcast for hours, but we just suck. It's just that we're really, really busy. We don't wake up early enough for... Well, by we, I mean you. Because you wake up no, so late. I'm talking about right now. Like, look at the camera's not even centered. We suck. And it's 9.34 p.m. the day before you guys are actually viewing this podcast. We <laughs> just have been all over the place today. We're just bad. We suck at everything we do. And um, can you scoot this way? It's bugging <laughs> me so bad. Like, I hate putting out content that just isn't, like, top tier. And this, like, it's still not centered. Hold up. It's just pissing me off so bad right now. And I genuinely cannot stand it. Is that good for you, Natalie Cuevo? Oh, it's so mid. I just want to be able to have a nice, like, setup. Because if not, this podcast is shit. And I, I don't know. Dude, every other podcaster, like, or podcast that I watch, they have the best setup. Every single one. Dude, yeah, we're just... Not we creative. Suck. We're not creative. We can have, like, a cool neon logo in the back or a picture of us. But look at what we have. Yeah, because we Blank suck. Blank wall. You just fucking suck. We have holes in our wall. That's what we have. Anyways, so welcome to the podcast. We just wanted to start a podcast because we love to talk shit and just talk, you know? Let me dumb this down for you. Um, we're not going to be like how we are on our couple's channel. I feel like I'm really, really censored and like filtered on our couple's channel. I don't cuss. I rarely cuss. <laughs> Off camera, though. So all the little kids out there thinking I'm like such a holy person, that's coming off. I'm taking my halo off today and for the rest of the podcast because I feel like I'm tired of it. Having a filter, having a cap on my mouth. I don't know why you do that. It's because, you know you know how yesterday we met that girl? She said her six-year-old son watches us or oh, watches me. Oh, you're right. I feel so bad. And I also have, like, younger cousins that watch me, too. So I'm like, fuck, if I cuss, I'm going to be like. <gasps> See, that was my thing. So when I first started doing YouTube, I would, like, censor my cuss words. Or I wouldn't say cuss words at all just because of that reason. Because I was like, when family members watch my videos, I don't want them to see me cussing and stuff. But I just think it's not authentic. You yeah, know, like, I, agree. I talk so much shit. Like, there's no way... For me to just censor it. And sometimes I do, for the record. Or, like, whenever it's a brand deal video, I have to censor it. And it sucks, and it's not me. But anyway, why are we talking, like, rambling? I feel like we're rambling. I hate podcasters that do that. You need to say something. We can't just have awkward silence. <laughs> we're bad podcasters. So, okay, let me just say this off the bat. So, Jacob, um, like... I think really does struggle to get his words across and his points across, which is a big reason why I feel like in the videos you always see me talking more. It's because we have like 30 takes off camera of him trying to get something across and it doesn't work. And I'm like, okay, dude, I'm just going to say it because it's taking too long. I have a really bad stutter. I don't know why. I feel like on text I have time and I can like Babe, think of it. it's not everything. your stutter. I don't think it's your stutter. And it's I my brain comprehension. Brain, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. I don't think he stutters. It's just you can't put together what you're trying to say. So that's what it is. So I'm going to try on this podcast to let him really talk and like try to get his words out but see that'll happen where there's just blanks of silence so then i have to jump in and like try to i'm not trying to speak over him i'm just trying to like keep the flow going you mm -hmm. know because i'm so used to having to do that in the videos but so you said you were gonna be better this is the second time we filmed this fucking podcast bro the last time it was horrible it was 
horrendous. That's what I was. It was say. fucking mid. That's what it was. It was like, midder than this video right here, dude. Yeah, it was so bad. So we were still at the apartment, and it was like a week before we had gone to freaking Mexico, and we were just trying to rush it. Not even that. The freaking quality was shit. It, we were just bad. We're just bad. That's yeah. what it is. But anyways, we are here again, and we really want to do something great with this podcast. So we're gonna try. But so the whole theme of this podcast is introducing you guys to our home and how we got it. Yeah, so it's just home stuff, how we bought a new build and, like, all that, all the tea on it. Um, we've been, like, talking about it on our own platforms and stuff like that, so we want to talk about our experience, you know? Do you want to tell them about... You know what? I'm saying unfiltered. I don't care. I don't care anything. <laughs> Look it. we got a snitch where we live. Oh, I didn't think you were going to talk about I that. don't care. I really don't. Okay, so... But that's towards the end, because that's not even the beginning of... Okay, fucking. just know that the word goes around our neighborhood. It's so bad. Like, the word gets around so much. Like, I feel like our life gets around so much. And it sucks so bad because we can't really talk about... We can't talk in our freaking videos because the word gets spread and it's so annoying. Like, if I say anything negative about the house, it somehow finds its way around the whole community. <laughs> and it's like, oh, it's the worst. Like, we have been discovered. But anyways, um, so we always have to be so freaking careful, but I don't give a fuck. It's the podcast. So we're going to start off by how we found the house and, like, the process of buying a new build because it's literally, it's the most amazing thing ever, but it's also probably the thing that will keep you up at night during the process. So let's talk about how we found it. So if you know me, I'm the best driver in the world. One day I took a wrong turn into the wrong street, and I was like, oh, this is meant to be, honestly, because look at where we're at right now. So I'm driving, and I'm like, this is beautiful. And there's homes everywhere, and it was decorated for, like, Christmas stuff and everything. And I'm like, oh, where am I? Do you want to go on? Um, okay, so he calls me and he tells me that he had found this place and because we would always pass by it, but we never really like got inside of it. And so I like whenever I see new homes, like even till this day, like I have a house, but I'm still going to go like tour new homes. It's just like fun. You know, it's like it's just fun. Dude, we had this house and like a week ago, Natalie just toured a new house in our place, like over they here. I didn't even know that. But she toured it, bro. Because I like it. It's art, you know, it, it has its. <laughs> Whatever, it's art. So I was touring houses, but whatever. So we found these houses. So he had told me about it. And immediately I went and I searched it up or whatever. But at the time we weren't eligible to buy a house. So it was just difficult. So we ended up touring them with Edith and Paul's like a few days later. Um, and I loved it, but we weren't eligible at the time. There's just so many requirements. You need to be able to buy a house. And we weren't, we were like two months away from that moment. So um, I loved the houses. It was like a townhome or whatever. So I told my real estate agent about it. And two months later, she was actually started looking into it. Um, and then that's how she was able to work her magic and we were able to get it, but it wasn't until the two months later. Mm -hmm. And then we found the house, whatever it was this whole process. Cause I didn't want like the same house. So basically my biggest thing is like lighting, like for like forever lighting is just my biggest thing. And, um, the houses that they had at the time were not in the lighting that I wanted. So it was this whole process. It was honestly just such a pain in the ass because I feel like builders aren't willing to compromise with anything. And like, since there's other buyers, nobody really gives a shit about you. So it was just really, really hard. But then we figured it out and then we put the deposit down and then we wanted to change the house. Dude, you put $15,000 down as a deposit. And two weeks later, we we're looking at different homes in a totally different city everywhere. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking in that moment? Okay, because I was thinking of a lot of stuff. Okay, so I, like, I, you guys know this. If you watch my YouTube videos, you know that I change houses like I change underwear. Like, literally, like, all the freaking time. I've moved, like, four <laughs> times. You change it? I'm like so serious. Like, I, it's just because I get so bored, and that's another reason why I feel like I'm always, I chop my hair off. I change whatever. Like, I change features about myself. When are you, when are you changing me, then? You, you, honestly, you're the long, the thing I've kept for the longest. You want to know something, y'all? This is inside tea. When we first started talking, Natalie, you told me you get bored of people fast. I did. You told well, me this too. You told me this too. And you're like, I'm going to talk to you until you do something that I don't like. And once you do that, <laughs> you're going to kick me out. That's literally straight up. That's what she told me. And I was like, I hope I don't do something I don't like. But I've done so many things that you don't like. You're just addicted to me, bro. Admit I it. think so. Admit it on the podcast. I think so, yeah. But I did tell you that because... So, dude, we shouldn't even be talking about this because this is just like for a whole other podcast. But I, I don't know. I just wasn't like... I didn't think I was going to fuck with you for, like, a long term. And then I did get addicted. So I guess that bit me in the ass. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if I did something in that moment that didn't make you, like, oh, want me anymore? Oh, you never heard of me again. Like, really? No, yeah. <gasps> like, when I ghosted you when we were supposed to play Fortnite that Dude, one day? Dude, that, that's for a different podcast. But, like, me and Jacob are here by a miracle. Literally. Like, this man, by a freaking miracle. To me, carried. 
Yeah, there's, but that's a whole. That's a whole different podcast, y'all. That's so much tea in there. Yeah, but anyways, okay, so yeah, I changed stuff really quickly. I feel like that I'm always doing that. You notice that, right? Yeah, but I feel like on the platform that you have, you have to do that because people get bored of this. It's just like them; they get bored of seeing the same content and content and content. That's why in a couple of years, or maybe in a year or two, we don't know, um, we're not going to be here. Yeah, I agree. Like, I think that our work does affect like everything else, like my moves and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, but I will say. That I feel like I could definitely find content if I really put my mind to it. But I, myself as a person, I think I just get bored of shit too fast. And it's definitely not like. That's also a way to stay relevant in what you do. I feel like there's people that are out there that have the same thing and they don't know what their next step is. But you, I'm really proud of you because you have like a next step all the time. Yeah, you I think really that has do. to do with my personality. Though, I think so, too. Because I'm always changing. Like, I remember when I was young, I was always trying to change my room, just change fucking everything, because you get, to, I would get so tired of it. So, um, back to the house. So, I was like, I had seen this house, and I fell in love with it, but I didn't like the sizing of it, because whenever I think, well, back then, whenever I would think about a house, I would think about legitimately, like, a home, like a two-story or one-story home. With the front yard? With the front yard, a backyard, you know, like, that type of stuff. But in California, that's not realistic, honestly. Not for the price that we're going for. Yeah. Not in our budget. But so when I had found that out, um, we had looked at houses prior to putting our deposit down for this one, but they were just out the roof, so I didn't even look. But I put my deposit, and I had found this house that I really loved, and it was $200,000 more than this one, which was like, fuck. And it was in like a wax city. Shit area. Mm -hmm. Like fucking gotta nothing. Go to, gotta drive past cows in the farmland. And type everything. shit. Like I, so I was like, eh. So we ended up not deciding on it, but I was like literally right there ready to like be like, I don't me, want this house anymore. Me too. I would have been satisfied, I guess, with the circumstances that we were living in for that house. You get me? No. Like if the dry desert and shit, I would have been like happy for that. Bro, why? Just because that home was so beautiful. Yeah, but I think you need to realize. So this is the debate. Let me know what you guys think on this topic. Would you rather live in a beautiful, beautiful nowhere in literally I'm from Bakersfield. Wait, what did I say? Sorry, let me... Re yes, you're right. I'm from Bakersfield, you're bro. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Would you rather live in a huge, beautiful mansion, right? Like, so beautiful, but literally in buttfuck nowhere. Or would <laughs> you like to live in a little box where work is there, everything is there, your social life would be there, you know, it's just perfect. What would you do? And I'm not saying a little box. We don't live in a little box, but like something smaller. What would you do? Let me know, because I think that was like the biggest thing. Also, when it comes to like um, the home values and stuff, this was smarter. Oh, yeah. This is very, very smarter than like your own comfort, your personal comfort. Yeah. So I think that's why we decided on. Mm -hmm. this. But, dude, we would lose sleep. And by we, I mean me. Like, I would not sleep. I remember I would be like at my bed at night. And I would be awake and I would just be thinking, like, what is the right decision? Like, I need guidance. Like, what is the right decision? Because I didn't know. And he doesn't really give his opinion on things. But even if he would have, I feel like it's, at the end of the day. It all comes to your opinion and what you believe It's not it. even that, but I feel like I felt like I had this responsibility of make the right, making the right decision. Mm -hmm. And I you agree. were always just kind of like, whatever you think is right. So I was like, fuck, I don't know. Like, who the fuck do I ask? And I didn't want to tell my parents and I didn't want to tell no one because I didn't want no one to think I was stupid because we had already put the deposit down, you know? So I was doing this, like, on the low. It was just... Dude, our real estate agent is a go for handling with, like, all your Dude, bullshit. she heard no's and yeses, like, three times within our whole buying process. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I thought you wanted this house. All right, I'll look Dude, for you another house. Oh, my God. It was so, so bad. But, you know, anyways, we got... Through that, and then we ended up just being like, no, we can't spend $200,000 more on our first home. Like, it's not, Especially no. Especially with our interest rate, bro. Yeah. Oh, I don't even want to get into that. I'm going to be de depressed, bro. Yeah, so it was just not, it was not the right thing to do. So we ended up going with the house that we have today. But that was a whole process. And then, like, the date to have the house was delayed by 22 days? Yeah, it was 22 days. 22, mm -hmm. 21 or 22 days. Which that pissed me off real bad because that fucked up the apartment. So I had to pay. So, okay. Initially, we were going to basically buy out of our lease, which you can do that. And they charge you, I believe it was like $2,000 to break the contract. And then you pay that month. But since they had moved the date of us getting our home, that created us to be over our deadline. So we couldn't break our lease for our apartment anymore. So we had to pay an extra two months of rent. 
which ended up being around three thousand dollars more than what we were initially going to pay. That mm-hmm. was literally fucking a mortgage right there. Yeah. So that was like so annoying. It was, and I get it. There's delays in new construction, but it also, you know, it put us three thousand dollars down for no reason. I agree. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And these houses were like, I would say they could have been done, dude. They were done. They were done. So we ended up having the walkthrough of this house. I think two weeks. What was it like? Two weeks before our delivery, our first delivery date, and the houses were done. Yeah. They were done. I just, I don't know. I'm not going to say more than that. Really? But and I feel like if you're buying a new construction home, it has to be in pristine condition. When we received our home, got our keys, there was drywall in the in the stove. There was, like, so many imperfections we asked them to fix before we got our keys, and it wasn't done. I was really upset, and, like, I wasn't, I wasn't showing that I was upset. I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah, I was upset. I was showing I was upset. Which you should. You spend so much money for what? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, our date got freaking delayed and then we still didn't get what we wanted what we asked for yeah so that's why new construction is just such a like hit or miss and not even just hit or miss but like if you're buying someone that's not like a luxury builder or whatever you're just gonna get shit like that's all you're gonna get Mm -hmm. which is fine we love our home we think it's beautiful but um when you have a dad that works in construction it's so much easier no, but, like, he gets to see. He knows. Oh, yeah. Every time my dad comes to the house, he just starts shitting on it. He just basically says how, like, it's such a poorly built home, which it is. So, and then they're just priced so high. Mm-hmm. But, you know, whatever. That's that's a whole different thing. That's just markets, you know. But anyway, so we ended up getting the house, right? We get the keys. Um, And then, yeah, we started seeing imperfections. We had stra- scratched windows. Dude, the scratched windows was so bad. That it was, was, oh, my God. It was like someone got a key and just wrote their name on it. No, it was like someone got a key chain with like 30 keys and then started doing that. <laughs> the whole glass. It was horrid. Um, so that was a pain to ask. Like literally, I just, I think we never wanted to show it in our YouTube videos for many reasons. One being because we didn't want it to get around the community because. They're a snitch. Snitches, first of all. Like it just gets <laughs> around. So we didn't want to talk about it in like the YouTube videos or whatever. And we wanted to keep it as positive as possible. But you just have to be careful. And then when you do your, like, walkthrough. So we did a walkthrough two weeks before our keys were given to us. And that's where you basically tape up the whole house. And you basically say, like, what you don't want fixed. So we did that. None of it got fixed. Um, Dude, we have high c- yeah, we have high ceiling windows. And they're still dirty. They never came to come fix them and clean them. Yeah, so um, we didn't get anything fixed. But we're going to have – I'm going to call the guy, hopefully, within two days. And just tell them, like, hey, we never got our shit patched. Like, we have holes in our walls that were never patched from the two weeks. Like, they're still there. Like, they're literally right there. We patched them. So, there's just stuff that never got fixed. Again, we love it. We're not complaining, but it's also like, hey, come on, we're paying all this money. And then, you know. But it's just construction. Like, these new builders or new build home builder people, they're just shit. Overall, I really love the home. I love the area and everything. Like, my favorite thing about waking up is these windows dude they have motors on the blinds and like at 7 a.m they come up so i'm just like waiting for the sun to come up yeah and just that's dude, when you but wake it up it was gloomy as fuck oh yeah for the past couple of days bro i don't know what's happening here but it's so like cloudy oh it is october though yeah but it's also 95 degrees literally today was 93 <laughs> degrees are you kidding me yeah are you kidding me like that is ridiculous so it was cloudy like in the mornings you would it was just like no it's time to be in bed nobody's trying to get up and jacob was going to the gym at 5 a.m like who the fuck Except today, bro, because someone stole my phone and didn't let the alarm go on. <laughs> bro, I was supposed to get up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym and work out, be productive. But I woke up at like 7 something. Dude, eight. Jacob. Okay, Jacob, I feel like he swears that I go through his phone. So he's told me this multiple times. And we're going to have this conversation right here on the podcast. Okay, so when you wake up. No, no. So when you go to sleep, your phone has so many notifications. Okay, so for instance, my phone has two notifications right now. Look. Oh, this podcast can't cut anything out. But look, it, it has two notifications. If I go to sleep right now, I wake up, it's going to have more, right? It's, or at least no. those two is still on there. I wake up, and I have, like, two notifications from, like, an hour ago. Well, dude, you're just not cool. No one texts you. No, no, no. That means someone opened my phone. No. I don't think you go through it, but I think you open my phone. So, I've done it a couple times, and it's not that I go through his phone. Like, last night, I was on his phone at 3 a.m. because I was trying to turn on the fucking AC because I was dying, and he has the app on his phone. So, that's what I was doing at 3 a.m., but I saw him peeking, so he was trying to catch me in the act. <laughs> no, I wasn't like, peeking. I, yes, I was, you like, were. I saw. It's because the charger was on my side, and you reach over, you're like. No, no, no. <laughs> That was till after, but I saw it was literally, so I was going on his phone, right? And then I hit the brilliant app, which is like the 
whatever, that's the thermostat. And he's like looking with the corner of his eye and I can see him looking at me. Like, really? If I wanted to go through your phone, I'd be sneakier about it. So I think you <laughs> you think I go through your phone. I don't care. I don't think you have anything there. No, no, no. I think you do go through my phone, but not oh. for the, not for bad reasons. I think you just like go like how for what uh, what you just said. You just go to change, change all the settings. But I hate it because when my friends text me or someone texts me like in the morning or at night. So f- the other day, my friend texted me, "Hop on Call of Duty," and I didn't see it. I didn't. That night wasn't me, Jake. I'm telling you. So I didn't see it. So I felt so bad. The next morning, I see like a message on my computer right when I turned it on. And I'm like. He never texted me, so I go, and I'm like, bro, what the heck? And I felt so bad, because I could have popped on with Dude, him. I didn't do that. Okay, see, this is what I'm saying. There's a ghost or something, because I didn't do yeah, that. Yeah, huh? <laughs> on a new build. Dude, okay, so, yeah, please. There, no bad energy. No, like, for real, no bad energy. So, anyways, I truly do not go through his phone, but he thinks he do, that I do. I don't. Why would I go through your phone? There's no reason. I trust you. You go through my phone though, but wow, that's a whole different story. Y'all want to hear that? Toxic ass a, man. <laughs> that's the next podcast. That toxic fucking shit. You think Jacob is a golden true boyfriend? He's not. He's toxic. Dude, we were barely talking, and I was. You would never have. For, nah, let's bring it right here. Look, at, <laughs> Natalie would never show me her phone for the first like weeks. We no, no, not even dating. Natalie exposed. Okay, so you know, <laughs> you remember those you nowadays, and you those like days we would go live with each other and everything. Look at. Whenever she had her phone, she would never let me look at it. You had freaking side guys. I didn't have side guys, first of all. You had I just friends. Had to, I, just, I just had to delete shit off my phone. And we weren't even dating. You were Dude, we were, t- we were talking. You were so like every day would FaceTime okay, and everything. Okay, but you were still on the, 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 what and was we it, were, the free trial? <laughs> <laughs> you were being tested. I was being tested, but you would, she would go through my phone. Like nothing. Okay, but look. You were being the, tested too, but what happened? Okay, no, but look. You got the premium free trial <laughs> or what? <laughs> No, so on the day he asked me out, he was able to look through my phone. Yeah, why don't you say that? You always try to paint me as a bad person. Tell him that. <laughs> Natalie said <laughs> she didn't want to have a boyfriend in, what year was it, 2020. So the first day of 2021, I asked her out. Yeah. I feel so bad, though, because that's my brother's birthday. We have, to, we have to celebrate with him something like Why this. would you do that? I asked for, because it's the first day of the year, the only day I can ask you Dude, out. Dude, like, that's the most corny shit. He literally asked me out the first day because I told him I didn't want to date in 2020. What the fuck? You're so dumb. I had to go above and beyond. So that day was the day he went through my went through my phone. It wasn't no, it even, wasn't. It wasn't that day. You didn't go. No, no, I'm not talking about that. But like that day was the first day. Like I was like, oh, like hold my phone, and that was fine. Mm. But I never went through your phone. You never went through my phone. I Natalie never Cuevas. went through your phone. You would always go through my phone. That's a lie. You would be like, I Who's, trusted you. Who is this? That was just because I was bored. Mm, Cause she's a toxica. No, I okay, literally. I, I don't think I've ever said this before, but I trust Jacob probably more than I should. I don't, I don't even look through your messages. You're following. Like, yes, you do. No, don't lie. Y'all, no, no, I don't. what was the other Why message? Listen, she went through my messages and I forgot what it was. Oh, I know what it was. It was through Joelle. Okay, so but look, it, I have a video plan. I was planning something, so I wanted to know what it was. I didn't tell you I was planning nothing, so look. But it. I knew because I saw the message when you were next to me, and they were planning some shit about like an M4 or whatever, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I was just trying to be ahead of the game. I was not trying to, I didn't think you were like cheating or anything. No, but you still went through my phone, and I was like, why? I, I didn't get mad. I was like, you're going through my phone, and she was all like embarrassed. Because like, hey. I, I told you why, like, uh, we're not, I'm gonna have a car, like a, during a uh, what's it called? Like, I don't know, a BMW. And she was like, oh, the M4. And I was like, I never told you about this. And you were like, you were it's so shocked. I thought he was trying to prank me. So I wanted to find out what the prank was. That's what it was. It wasn't that any, like, I think we've got it. Not even we've gotten to this point. I don't think I've ever been jealous of you, period. Right? Have I ever shown jealousy? Probably like two times in I mean, I wouldn't, relationship. I wouldn't be jealous if my boyfriend was 5'2". Oh, yeah, you're right. I think that has a lot to do. He's he about to pull no curls. Yeah. I get. I think that has a lot to do. Actually, oh, fuck, <laughs> that fucking hurt. No, I just think I trust you. We've never had, like, jealousy issues in our relationship. I have, actually. I was oh, really... Yeah. I was a, I was a super insecure boyfriend, low-key, starting off. Low-key. High-key, because, look it. Dating a baddie is not for the week, bro. It was mainly when I went back to school. That's when I'm not gonna. Were. I'm not gonna get onto that topic because it was just when I went back to school for like what? I went two days, Jacob. Literally two fucking days, and then I never went back to school. Yeah, I was. Shitting, I didn't want to wake up. I was shitting bricks. Yeah, he was scared, but that was it. Like, hey, Loki, I was her alarm every morning. So whenever she had school, I didn't wake her. This is so cringe. Yeah, and I never went to school. You guys remember that? I never showed up to school, but 
it was like the last literal month of senior year. That was, I mean, it wasn't. And you had to wear, like, masks to school. And you couldn't sit next to nobody. Everyone was, like, literal, like, 20 feet apart. It was, like, jail. Nat's like, a, literally. Nat was an anti-masker. It was. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. It was just not school. <laughs> Nat would wear the mask that wouldn't protect anybody. It was just for the aesthetic. What are you talking about? <laughs> the oh. case of five masks. No. Yes. The ones that you're talking about are the ones that were, like, the shimmers that people would use for their birthday parties. You know what I'm talking about? No, I don't know what you're talking about. People would wear these masks with uh, little rhinestones to, like, put on. But, obviously, it was, like, rhinestones, so the air would just go right through. That was the aesthetic (laughs) mask. Casey is cool as fuck. What are you talking about? Their masks were good. No, they were. Yeah, they were. I love them. They were not. They were not double protected or nothing. Yes, they were, and they had the little... um, they had a little the filter, middle. like the air would go around that Dude, filter. No, it <laughs> yes, it would. Why are you sitting here lying? But I hated it because I just felt like it wasn't school, you know? Like the fact that you couldn't sit next to your friends. Like there was literal shields around each person's desk. It was just not school. So I was like, I'm not showing up to this shit. I'm so jealous of you guys that have school. I wish I could why go back. Why would you ever say that? Because I, I didn't like the school, like the learning, but I liked hanging out with my friends. So you'd rather go back and learn just to hang out with your friends? Well, you can hang out with your friends outside of school. Yeah, I would rather go back. Because in school, it hits different. I agree. I think I was really depressed for a while. Like, after school ended, I was really sad about really? it. Really? You don't think you were? I mean, I, I went back a couple of times. Like, recently, I went to my brother's school to uh, sneak in. Dude, and it was... I'm a snitch next time. Well, they low-key let me. The principal and stuff at school, I mean, they we've chatted before. They're cool. Bruh. I want to do a video going back to school again. Like, a super, super senior. That would be cool. But I feel like I'm already old enough for that. So I don't really want to. See, I can never do that because when I was in high school, so my school became like a clout school and every people started taking like their G7Xs to school. Like literally take it to school and then during lunch they were recording. What is this? Because it doesn't have what, like, Tastes like a fourth sp- cup of sugar like yours? <laughs> Y'all, Jacob put like half the bottle of sugar in his coffee. Half the bottle? Yeah. yeah. They didn't know sugar comes in bottles. It does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Sugar, That's a bottle. It comes in bags. It's a syrup. Okay, we're talking about syrup oh or sugar. God. I'm not having this conversation with you right now. Dude. Anyway, what the fuck were we talking about? Why are we 28 minutes in and we're not even to the point that we're supposed to be on? Are okay. we just rambling? Yeah, I think we are. Do you guys like the 30 topics we just jumped on? From the toxicness to the going through their phones to the house to the... Because really I think people always have questions about the, like, toxicness. And I don't think we're toxic. We don't go through each other's phones. I mean, we don't tell each other we can't do shit. You never tell me what I can or can't wear. I let that know where I'm going. She lets me know where, where she's going, and that's it. It's really simple. Yeah, I mean, but that's just so you know where I'm at. It's not because I need to tell you where I'm going. You know, it's just like, oh, babe, I'm going to the store or whatever. Just mm-hmm. so you're not like, where is she? You know? Yeah. There's just no, there's nothing to be toxic about. Hey, but if I wanted to be toxic, I got the AirPod tracker. What's it called? The, the, the air, air tag. tag. I have an air tag in her car, so. No, you don't. Yeah, it's all the way in the back, so your phone doesn't detect Dude, it. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Never mind. Scratch no, not be na- toxic. No, that's the most toxic you person my, here. You have my location. You have my truck location. <laughs> she has the app for the Chevy, and she has, like, the location where my truck will be all, at all times. So say we break up, she will know where I am at no, at no, all times. No, no, hear me out, hear me out. But it's because, let me tell you why. It's because I always like to be a step ahead, and if Jacob ever tries to, like, turn off his location and, like, prank me or something, I just know where he's at. That's why pranks will never work with you. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm ahead of the game. But it's not because I, like, I don't want no one to take this as, like, I think he's going to, like, go cheat. I never, I literally, I could put you in a room with, like, a thousand girls. And I know you would cheat on me. I know it. What if a girl is Kendall Jenner? Dude. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not having this conversation with you, Jacob. Y'all, Nat hates. No, I don't no, no. hate no one, Nat, first of all. No, no, no. Nat hates the fact that I had a celebrity crush. When you literally told me straight up, and you would post on your spam, Aurel, Aurelio Casillas. Oh, Dude, my God. because Jacob, okay, no, hear me out. So when I first started talking to Jacob, he said that his, like, biggest celebrity crush was Kendall, and Kendall over Kylie, the, you know, typical fucking guy shit. Like, pick me guys that are always like, yeah, Kendall's better because she's natural. Like, you know how guys always say that? So he was one of them. And that, like, irked me so bad because, I don't know, it just irked me really, really bad. It's because Kendall, I feel like Kendall was like the prettiest out of everybody. <laughs> okay, so pretend I'm a single guy. Dude, Kendall was the. Now imagine. <laughs> I, no, I don't have to imagine. You can tell me this. <laughs> it's true. Like, I feel like you were always talking about it, and I was like, dude. And I was really insecure. I feel like I was really insecure when we started talking, and then that was just like. Bro. I don't understand. I know I do understand why you were insecure, but I was always hyping you up. Dude, you literally touch my thighs, and you're like, damn, before I used to grab them like this. Like, 
No, I. What You're are you the talking about? For my insecurities. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like Jacob. So sorry. Jacob will be like, "Oh, like you have an ass now." Like, no, I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. Like, you're basically saying, "Like, thanks for the compliment," but you're basically saying I didn't have an ass. That's before. like a backhanded compliment. It I is, don't do and that. You always say that shit. I don't. Like, I remember when I couldn't even grab it. You literally say that to me, Jacob. I mess around and like I. That's like, not funny. I put my though. hand That's on her like thigh. A trigger, you know? Like, yeah. I put my hand on her thigh like this, like like just like this, and then I mess around. I'm like. Bro, I remember when they were like this. That's what I just like, said. That's what I just said. And but you like, said no, it. You said it like all mean. I'm messing around, and you know it. Okay, but it's a trigger. Oh, sorry. Yeah, like I don't know. I, guys are just walking L's. I'm so tired of guys. See what I mean? Now I'm just over guys. It's just it happens too fast. I'm gonna get a wig. What's the deal? Shut up. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Jacob, we need to start like talking about relevant things. This is why we suck. If you're watching this podcast right now. I feel like they're entertained though. You guys I like when we're yelling, huh? Are. I think they hate us. You guys hate us? Hate us? Because you ain't us. Jacob, that was so cringe. Never say that again. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a cringe person, Loki. Dude, I buy you flowers all the time. These well. I'm just tired. <laughs> Dude, Nat was crying like five minutes ago because she couldn't. No, not five minutes ago. 31 minutes and 48 seconds ago because she couldn't find an SD card of her movie vlog. No, I was crying because I thought you had erased my footage. Why would I erase your footage? Because that's a Jacob activity right there. You know what a Natalie activity is? What? Natalie activity is when they lose their memory card Shut, or break dude, their memory card in Mexico when they're on a girl's trip. Like, bro, prioritize your work dude. on a girl's trip. Come on. <laughs> See, this, he says this shit, and then he expects me not to cry. Like, she, had a, she, had, she lost four videos, y'all. Oh, my. The, I'm, I'm really disappointed because I really wanted to see like the video. Are you of, kidding me right now? I Are you kidding me right now? I really wanted to see the video of your completed house renovation. You're disappointed. Dude, see what I mean? Like, like bro, who drops you know it over? I feel. <laughs> you know how I feel. Why did you say that? Like, literally, you know how I upset about that I was. I literally was trying to book a flight right then and there and leave. Y'all, when that says literally, listen to when she says it. It's no, literally, Jacob not literally. Said literally. That's what you say. You're like, literally? Did you have a British accent? Cancel her. <laughs> Cancel her. That's so. That's <laughs> how dare you? Jacob, when you said that shit in my video, that was the funniest thing ever. Haha, make me laugh with a cup of tea. No, that's so mean. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, hey, they're, they hate they're, us, Jake. They're going to come at me with a sword and some armor. Dude, <laughs> everyone hates people from England, from the UK. I love the UK, bro. I've never been there, but I like watching like YouTube videos with the UK, like a sideman, bro. Oh, my. Dude, have you seen TikToks? Yeah. And they're like, at least we're not fat. Don't laugh. That's so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> You have to cut that out. <laughs> it's like the, the have you have y'all seen <laughs> I'm crying. That's fucked up. That's so foul. I'm not laughing. It's not funny, but why would you laugh? Because you had a moco in your nose. Not laughing. It's not that. I don't have a moco. Now I had a moco. Now I had a fat moco. Yeah. Jacob, that's so mean. Why would you laugh at that? That's not funny. Yeah, you guys passed the line. Yeah, that's fucked up. Don't ever say that. Okay, let's talk about like the moving in process because that was horrid. It still is. It's not done. Oh, I'm done. No, You're you not done. you still have to wait for your closet to be done. Oh, Nasty has to get her right. closets done and then move all her clothes from her apartment into her closet. You know. Oh, and dude, and we haven't even cleaned out the apartment. I need to unpack tomorrow. My my room is like full of all my boxes still. <sighs> it's just I'm really busy. Okay, bud. You're so. I'm busier so, than I'm busier than you because you you bring me along everywhere so uh, I could be your driver. What are you talking about? I've been driving us around for the past week. No. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> what? What did you say? I said the Latino vowels. Latino king. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we just stop being fucking annoying because they're not gonna watch our podcast anymore? I feel like the movie situation has been so crazy because look at. Nasdaq comes in every third day, gets a stuff, get some stuff done, and Nat still doesn't want it, and Nat still doesn't like it. Like, bro, come on. What do you mean? I love everything my dad does, except I just keep adding more to the list. What about the barn door in your room when he lowered the ceiling? We don't need to talk about that. Dude, Nat's dad lowered the ceiling thing, or what is it called? Uh, the framing of the door, like two feet, no? And she was literally losing sleep that night and didn't want it like that. And she hasn't told you. Haven't told him, huh? I haven't told him. I'm not gonna tell him, Jake. When are you gonna tell him? It's because let me explain what happened. So basically, the height of our freaking door thing was 94 inches, so it was like super tall, super pretty, super modern. But barn doors are only made in 84 inches unless you make a custom door that's 96 inches, but that's literally touching the fucking ceiling. So it's really, really big, and then it was gonna look stupid. But then the 80, 
four inches. I feel like it's too low. It's the average size door, but I was used to the tall one. So my dad patched it, and I was like, fuck, what did I do? Because I hated it. So then my barn door actually came in yesterday, and the barn door is really cute, though, so I can't have it changed no more, you know? Mm -hmm. But no, I never told him. He'd literally freak out on me. What are you doing on your phone, Mr. Podcast? Show notes. Show notes. Shut up. You're reading a ring thing. I saw. <laughs> yeah. Don't be lying to them like that. You see, I got you. See, he lied. I'm hey, you. I'm trying to look professional in front of the camera. Jake's Jeez. too toxic. For real. <laughs> Fix your hair, boy. Oh, you want the gas? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I got a hoodie on. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Get a llorar. Get a llorar. Look at, see, she's talking Why about. Why would you say that? You're talking about you can't take shots, so like don't do, don't be shooting if you can't take the shots. Come on. Why would you bring that up? Do you know I'm insecure and you really would say that? I'm sorry. No, you're not sorry. You're <laughs> fucking laughing, you dick. Because you're so beautiful. No, because he literally, I don't know if you guys heard that, but he said, that's why you have a hoodie on. That's so fucked up. Especially because before this podcast, I told him how insecure I was. Are you really going to say that? That's why you can't grow fucking hair, facial hair. Like you <laughs> Look at patchy. you. You're still shooting you're at me. Come patchy. on. I'm patchy. Yeah, you're patchy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Go ahead, I'm ass motherfucker. Because I'm a hard worker unlike you. <laughs> yeah. What the hell does that have to do with your balding? <laughs> if I lift up Nat's hair, you'll see like lines of white because she doesn't shower and she only uses dry shampoo. Do it. Ugh. Do it again. Nah, because you showered today. You got lucky. You're off the hook today. <laughs> Hey, I'll come back in Jacob two weeks. Jacob doesn't understand the hair washing process. Bro, wash your hair every day and you'll be good. You won't have fleas. That's why you're balding, because you wash it every day, old man. You're about to be 20. How do you feel? You're literally old, dude. That's <laughs> why you got wrinkles on your forehead. <laughs> when I do Botox, you're going to pay for That's why you got to do Botox. <laughs> I've never done Botox. That's why I look like that. But now you're going to pay for them, because that's so fucked up. New insecurity unlocked. That's why you're addicted to freaking coffee, bro. Like, bro, just drink water. That's why you can't go to the gym without drinking pre-workout. Because mm -hmm. I go in the morning. Nah, because you're I go on weak. an empty stomach. Nah, you're weak. Imagine not being able to go to the gym without pre-workout. Damn, could not be me. You literally took some today. I couldn't. I couldn't down it. That's for bitches. <laughs> <laughs> like, just have energy, hey, bro. All the gym rats are going to come for you right <laughs> now, bro. I know. I'm sorry. Not can't just even, have energy, though. Hey, Nat can't even squat the bar. Shut the fuck up. Yes, <laughs> like, I can. Dude, you know my legs are stronger than yours now? Yeah. You don't hit leg day. I'll bet you. you tell, I could tell. I'll bet you $1,000. You do hit leg day. I'll bet you $1,000 you don't push whatever with your legs more than me. All right, bet. We'll do it. You don't be hitting leg day. No I'm crossies. No crossies. All right. I'm confident in this fat ass, for real. Your your ass is chunky, but mine's a fucking fluffy Natalie Cuevas. I got a fatty. You yeah. know this. You know it. No. Hey, I'll shake it right now for free on the camera. No. I'll I'll do it. You do have a fat ass. Your ass is bigger than mine, Luki. I didn't want to say it. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, this man creates insecurities for me every single day. It's a day. joke. When I get a BPL, I don't want you talking shit. I can't come at now because then she's too sensitive, bro. Jake, come on. it's because, like, you're talking all this, but you literally, like, whatenever we well, have I'm to literally get the five, three, out of the cabinet, I'm you have what? to bring a stool, and I don't say That's nothing. That's the only thing you could talk about, bro. <laughs> okay, no more. No more insulting. And I got size nine in men's, no, nine and a half in men's feet, bro. Like, bro. You could be a swimmer. You got that. <laughs> I don't talk shit about your height, Jay. Yes, you do. You no. just tell me if I had to get a ladder to go. Because you were talking shit about me, bro. That could be a, like a made snorkeler, That's like a man-made snorkeler. That's bigger than mine. <laughs> That's, you're insulting yourself. I know, but your boobs are big. I, don't I got them pecs. Do you imagine having boobs like this? Damn. I don't have anything like that. Like, bro, hit chest it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie got Ellie got mad. You're gonna unleash the beast. So, um, back to the house. Yeah, basically just buy it. <laughs> In conclusion, houses are great. Buy a house, you know. <laughs> Dude, the first podcast we filmed, we came for everybody. I felt so bad. Which one? Oh, so yeah, that's another reason why we we filmed it. <laughs> We're not going to go so hard in the first podcast. That's for tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's for that's for next Thursday. Yeah, it's because, like, we were really mad at the time. So we spoke out of our, like, emotions. So we, like, we're giving F-bombs to, like, a bunch of people. And we're just going to be a little calmer because 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to be calm. But I don't care. Snitches get stitches. That's all I'm going to say. It's not just that, but just like, I don't know. I think the fact that like people are spreading that we live here and just like, <laughs> it's just icky me and it, I don't know. That's another reason why I feel like we aren't even going to show up to events no more because of that reason. Yeah. And it just sucks. Mm-hmm. I agree. But anyways, on the funny side, Jacob got a ticket the other day for parking outside because his dumbass didn't check his truck in. So then he got a sticky sticker on his window with the fat ticket on it. It's because I couldn't park in our garage because, bro, we have so much stuff. Not so much. We have a couple things in there and that doesn't want to back up all the way or move out all the stuff out there. Why don't you move it? Jacob doesn't do shit around the house. And if I don't go move that stuff, he's not ever going to put the truck in. Nah, tell him. Tell him why you're lazy. Are you kidding me? Dude, that mic is going to smell. Yeah? Yeah. Your pillow smells because you... <laughs> <laughs> hey, not got, not got a yellow stain going this way to the pillow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you ever say that? It looks like a coffee stain. Why would you ever? Your babas are coffee, bro. Jacob, why would you ever? You sleep all stupid, but you don't see me out here talking about that. Because you can't talk about that. Yeah, because you. <laughs> no, it's like videos this. of it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like that? Is it like. It's exactly. No. No chin having ass motherfucker on neck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get your dog. Get your dog. She has attacked me. Baby, are you mad? Dude, that's so funny, bro. Oh, for God, no chin, no jawline. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> you look like the fucking, you look like the motherfucker from Voldemort. You know what I'm talking about? From the Smurfs? No, bro, that ugly ass guy that's like, the Voldemort dude. Voldemort. You know what I'm talking about? You look like Rapunzel from Walmart. Be quiet. Nah, 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 come here, come here. I got a question for you. You want to count shoulders? Yes. Ready? No, 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 me too. One, two, three. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Dude, now I got pure holes in your dirty ass <laughs> hair. <laughs> Bro, like, go shower. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Narizona. Era. Narizona. You want to talk about noses, my boy? <laughs> Get her, Ellie. Hey, be nice to mama. You want to talk about noses? No. Good. No say. Get it? Nose. No, You're say. so cringe. Can you, like, <laughs> never talk again, please? Anyways, I know this podcast is really, really short, but we're just going to cut it there because, um, I don't know, I think we just don't want to throw too much flame. And not even just that, but also it's late as fuck and I'm really sleepy. And it's our first podcast, so we just kind of wanted you guys to get a little feel about us and, and see little how taste. cool we are. Yeah, do you guys like it? Let us know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this content or not. Like, we really love doing this and... I feel like we're doing this just for pure enjoyment. It's not a revenue source, really, and nothing like that. We don't care about the views, the money, anything yeah. about this. We just want to get ourselves out. Eventually, there's going to be, like, actual tea that we want to get to you guys. But it's just hard because it's a sensitive topic for some of us. Anyways, they're about to get super rowdy. So we're going to close off this podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we are going to be posting podcasts every, every Thursday. Every single Thursday. Y'all, do not miss it. If you have school on Thursday... Bro, skip school and watch our podcast. I'm just kidding. We'll probably post it like after school on Pacific time zone. Yeah. So that way you guys can watch it. And we will be going on Spotify soon. We just don't know when. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And subscribe, all 2,000 of you guys. We love you. And we will see you guys next, next Thursday. Thursday. Bye. Bye.